Hey guys, Vlad here, welcome to the channel, and this is Ganvis Phantom, a racing style gaming chair. You can get it now why it's called Phantom, it has this stealthy look, all black with cool white detail that catches your eye. Front side has cool stitching details all over the seat area and on the backrest, and it adds that interest to it, not being completely black. Similar design approach is on the back, and I really love it, as most chairs out there have just plain black back. This one has a logo on the back and these white stitch screws to break the otherwise boring plain black backrest. Speaking of design and stitching, you can notice it has stitching details all around the backrest and seating parts, since it's inspired by racing cars. They have these cool details as well, and the same is applied to this chair, giving it better visual appeal. The seat is covered in breathable mesh fabric, which won't make you sweat, not even after a long gaming session. These side supports are also stuffed with soft cushions inside and will not fatigue your legs. This design is called Hybrid Comfort Plus. Sounds cool. Backrest comes with two large cutouts, through which you can attach a neck pillow, which is extremely soft by the way, gentle material to the touch and super comfy. Through these holes you can also attach a lumbar cushion support pillow, which is also made out of this super comfy material and it does not get annoying after some time on your back. I am mentioning this as some of the same type of chairs have this lumbar support stiffer and it can do more harm than help to your back. Backrest also has a recline mechanism, 90 to 170 degree motion, activated by this lever on the right side. You just pull it and you can recline the backrest from 90 degree to 170 degree. Why not 180 you ask? Seriously, do you want to fall down in that position? This is actually a safety mechanism as you can fall down while in its, this range of up to 170 degree. To be honest, I don't believe that anyone will be using it in this position, but to each his own. It also has a tilting mechanism which allows the whole chair to be rocked a bit so you know you can rock a little bit while waiting for a match to start or simply wanna chill to some using that way. It can be set from 10 to 30 degrees with a knob underneath the chair so loosen will allow it to rock up to 30 degrees and tighten will only allow up to 10 degrees rocking. So moving to the armrests, these have a cool carbon squared pattern to them and this is actually the first thing that will catch your eye when you look at this chair, apart from the cool stitch screws patterns. They are movable in all directions, so you have this lever on the side, press it and it allows for up and down movement, which is pretty smooth and easy to move. And this is what I also like a lot, it has a front and back movement but with a gear mechanism, meaning a bit of force is required to move them and you will hear an audible click once it's moved. Why do I like it? Well, because you can't accidentally move it with slight movement of your arm. Same applies for left and right movement. Big plus for this kind of adjustment. The gas spring lifting mechanism can support up to 150 kilos of weight and what I like about this chair is that it states clearly on its website that it's made for people tall up to 180 centimeters or 5.9 feet and it is important to know and consider when buying it as the backrest has widened part in the shoulder area and it's made for people of mentioned height. So if you are taller than that please take this into consideration. The complete mechanism under the chair is made out of metal, same goes with the wheelbase, 1.5mm thick metal base which will not break under pressure. Wheels are also racing inspired, so they look like alloy wheels on a car, 60mm in size and they are extremely easily rollable, so I recommend you keep this chair on a rug or a carpet, as you can drift away easily on a hardwood floor. So this is all for this time guys, stay tuned for next video in which I will compare this chair to the Trust GXT 707 as they are extremely similar but there are differences, subtle but they are there. So you know the drill, sub, like and share and check the Trust video if you haven't and I'll see you in the next video, stay safe.